Freerun is the number one anime from Echidna. Is this true, guys? Is this true? I mean, we just saw Stark solo a dragon accidentally. Let's see what he has to say. What is the best anime of all time? If you ask me, it's between mm -hmm. Cory in the house and ReZero, but... That's a tough competition. ReZero Season 3 might be coming up, but Cory in the house is a household legend. Maybe we should do Cory in the house reactions before ReZero, guys. House and ReZero, but according to myanimelist.com, it's Freerun. And because... So Wait, wait, Freeman actually beat Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Well, this happens quite often, I think. I think a, a new show a new show shows up, right? People fucking just, like, re review Brigade it to the fucking limit. And then Metal Alchemist, like, Brotherhood people, they just show up out of nowhere and they're like, Nah, our enemy is number one every time. We're gonna downvote you. We're gonna fucking Brigade you guys. And then Full Metal Alchemist will inevitably become number one again. I think that's the pattern. Um, it's Freerun. And because Freerun is now the highest rated anime of all Damn. time, I finally decided to just sit down, grab a beer, and watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Just kidding. Are we ever gonna watch that show in this channel? Guys, come on, recommend it. Anyway, the story of Freerun begins right after it already ended. Hopefully that makes a ton of sense. Basically, the party of heroes defeated the final boss before the first episode, so by the time we start watching the anime, their grand adventure is already over. Now like, the Demon King is dead. They're kind of hyping up, like right now, we're going to the northern place where like there's a bunch of like, remnants of like the Demon King that's around, so it's like, okay, there could be actual opponents still around, but like, the threats are gone in this world. Now, the main character, Freerun, spends her days relaxing, bullshitting around, and collecting spells. It kind of reminds yeah. me of what your D&D &D character does after you finish the campaign. Or... New Game Plus. Just chilling. She beat the game. We're just going to different towns and just talking to different NPCs and checking out... Oh, you have these dialogue options. Cool. Actually, it's more like when you reach the end game in an RPG and you don't really have any goals anymore, so you just decide to care about cosmetics and you start collecting mounts and shit. But anyway, Baron's an elf, and if you don't know about elves, typically in fantasy, their lifespan is way longer and bigger than a human's. And because humans only live for about a hundred years, Freerun has to leave behind most of the friends she makes in her life. Even even the other heroes that helped her save the world began to die off too, and that- No, no, right, I'm not gonna- just- BALD! BALD! You think I go easy on him because he melts dad right now? No, BALD! And that's when Freerun realizes that she kind of wasted time. As an elf, the concept of wasting time didn't exist to Freerun because time wasn't precious to her, but her friends were, and it was her- This is like a curse and a blessing. Imagine being able to live that long that like you don't have to like fucking worry about life like that. But then it's like, at the same time, you gotta witness everyone around you that you love die. And you have to fucking live with it. For time with them, that was wasted. So at the funeral, Freerin vows to never waste time ever again. And that's the policy she- Yeah, she, she, she vows? She fucking cries for Himel. She's like, damn. I wish I got to know you better, Himel. This is fucked. I can't believe you're dead. Oh my god, I'm such a bad friend. After our adventure, I pretty much fucked off for like- How long did she leave for? Like 10, 20, maybe 50 years? I don't even know. Anyways, after she makes that vow, what are we doing right now in like episode 6 or 5? We're going to the northern continent where the demon castle is, right? That shit takes a fucking decade. Ten fucking years. And on top of that, there's a there's another town that we just stopped by, right? Uh, the checkpoint is fucking closed. And like, it's gonna take two years. And Freerun's like, I right, cool, bet. I'll see you in 12 years. All Farron's is like, are you fucking serious? You're gonna waste a 10% of my fucking lifespan here just fucking around? And Freerun's like, yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Bow my ass. Vows to never waste time ever again. And that's well, the... It's not like wasting time like that. Cause like, even if you're stuck for 12 years, it's more like spending time with your like, I don't know, you can still spend time with Fern and Stark in the village and like make precious memories. So it's not really true, right? Policy she upholds with her new apprentice, Fern. So far, their adventure has been a lot of fun to follow, and it's kind of structured like Mishoku Tensei in the sense that it feels like a slice of life, but with occasional bursts of intense action with really yep. good animation. The immersion is on another level too. Like, for example, they fight this dragon, right? Apparently it had a magic tome or something that Freerun wanted to add to her collection. This magic is just to see transparency. We risked our fucking lives fighting a dragon so that Fern could see how small Stark's pee-pee was. 
That's episode six. And so they kill it and dude, the dragon's nest was completely filled with loot. There was yeah. piles and piles of cool shit everywhere, but Freeran just grabs the book and walks away. And yeah. that made me physically mad because I would have sat there for hours digging through all the loot, but Freeran just left it all behind like she did with her friends. Anyway, this anime Jesus. is really good. There's always something cool happening. Turtle petting, pumpkin stealing, mimic feeding, potion making. We haven't had that in a while. There's been a lot of like sus- stealing. Mimic. There's a lot of sus moments like this where Freeman just gets stuck in a mimic. Her ass is stuck up. I'm surprised they actually kept the feet, like the boots on because usually they do a lot of elf feet service with Freeman. Feeding, potion making, boat lifting, dragon slaying, house building. It's really cool. But is it good enough to deserve the number one spot on my anime list? Do you guys actually think it's better than Full Metal Alchemist? Like, it's not even fair because the show hasn't completed yet, right? This is fucking 64 episodes. Freeman is still only on like what episode 13 or something. Do you guys think it's better than Full Metal Alchemist? I can't say because I haven't finished either. Why don't we discuss that in about 60 seconds from now? This video is sponsored by Is everyone and their mom getting a web novel sponsorship first? Any news? Now I kidnap, but then again, they are like mega big hundred thousand of thousands of subscriber channels. Anyway, go use this fucking discount code, huh? Go go use this discount code. Go to go to fucking web novel. That's right. That's right. Freerin is the number one anime on Mal right now, so let's talk about what that means. Mal is a website that people- It means that it's gonna get review brigaded. It's gonna get review bombed by Brotherhood. That's what that means. People use to rank anime, and it has pretty much every anime listed. So the number one anime is theoretically the best anime of all time. The Should question be. is, does Freerin deserve that spot? For years and years, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was the number one anime on the- I expect- Brotherhood to take over it again. Wasn't Attack on Titan another anime that was like, like ranked number one, but then Brotherhood like um, fanboys like brigaded it? This website because it's widely considered to be the best anime ever. In fact, we might see Freerun drop to number two soon because FMA fans are so dedicated mm -hmm. to keeping their anime in the number one spot that they actually organize mass downvotes against like, this exists. I'm not making this shit up. Like, this happens. Anything that ever surpasses it. Please don't tell this to anyone, but low-key, I still haven't seen Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. In my defense, though- Me too. So, this shit came out in 2009. And you want to know what I was doing in 2009? What? Hey, come on, man! I'm pretty sure I had just recently discovered masturbation, so I didn't have time for Full Metal fucking Alchemist. I was busy jerking off and trying to hit 15th prestige in Black Ops 1, which Relatable. Which I did. And that brings me back to the topic of wasting time. Freerin didn't understand the concept of wasting time because when you're an elf who lives for hundreds of years, getting 15th prestige in Black Ops 1 is nothing. But when Time just becomes a blur, right? What's a fucking 10 years to your life? I don't care. 10 years is like fucking, it's like a weekend for me. I don't give a shit. You're a human. Dedicating that much time to a video game makes you a nerd. So let's turn this into a competition. This website will tell you how much time you've wasted playing League of Legends, but... I, I think I wasted like at least more than a month of my life. Like actually, and this is like, when you do this tracker, like it doesn't take into account of like how many days like you actually play, but like... Like, it, it, like, it's only gameplay time. So a month of my life straight just gone playing League of Legends. It's kind of crazy. But the I'm pretty sure it's more than a month, too. The problem is it won't show me because all five of my accounts got permabanned. I used the to fuck? get so mad during solo queue. I what did you do? Ramus and just roll down mid while... This is the motherfucker that shows up. It's your last promo game. You're, like, trying to get to Diamond 5. You spent your entire summer waking up early, hitting the gym playing League of Legends solo queue, dedicating yourself to the grind because you believe you can do it. And when you're finally at the footsteps of Diamond 5, this motherfucker shows up, queues up. It's your final promo game. What does he do? He insta-lux Ramus and rolls down mid. This is the exact reason why I fucking stopped playing League of Legends. I fucking hate this game. Saying fuck you to my team. So I quit League and- <laughs> That's the most toxic grip, dude. Oh my God. I started Mythic Raiding and WoW. I also became Emperor in ESO and my Iron Group in RuneScape literally got to number three on the high scores at one point. So if any of you nerds in the comments think you've wasted more time than me, I'd love to hear it. Anyway, I think this video was about Freerun or something. Yeah, I've yeah, never Freerun. seen an anime like Freerun before and that's because it's one of a kind. I've watched hundreds of other fantasy anime but there's just something about this one that resonates with me one of a kind is it different is it that different from the different fantasy shows i think 
Reunion is a type of show where they capture the atmosphere, the vibe, the chill. I don't know. I could watch it. Nothing could happen, but I'm just still watching it, if you know what I'm saying. There's certain things about this show where it feels like nothing is happening, but at the same time, I'm just like watching it. And I'm just like immersed into the show, and that's very rare. Usually, like I need to be stimulated. Shit needs to be popping off for me to be paying attention, but free run, it's like I could watch Farron just like fucking walk through the forest. They're just walking. Walking over random tree logs and shit. And it's like still interesting. I'm like, why is this interesting? It's because of the environment. It's because of the foundation that they set. It's, the, it's, it's what this show and Mushoku Tensei also does well. Sometimes it just captures the whatever environmental feel, the vibes, right? Whatever, whatever does vibes mean really well to the point you're really immersed into this fantasy world. Not many animes can really do that. How does it do it? I don't even know. Just, just the fucking arts, the voice acting, the composition, the style, the narrative style, all the different things kind of adds up to what Free Ring is like unique for. I'm wondering if maybe the author played a lot of D&D &D because even though it's my first time watching, the world feels very familiar in a way that no other fantasy setting does. Basically, familiar. something about Free Ring is different, but I can't really put my finger in it. Free Ring herself, the character, is a lot of fun and... This has been reused like I think four times now in this video. There's a lot of foot service for Freeman. God damn, there's a lot. Very likable. However, I don't know about you guys, but for once, I don't think I would smash. I mean, she's hot, don't get me wrong, but for I mean I, I okay, there's a lot of free run feet burgers on social media. I don't know why. I don't know where the burgers came from, the feet burgers. Maybe I'm not there yet. Maybe the future episode will like, explain to me what the feet burgers are. But free run, it just doesn't do it for me, man. There hasn't been a girl in this shit where it's like, wow. This is great. I'm like, where is my MILF character? There is no... Technically, Freeman should be a MILF, but she's a fucking elf, so she's a lolly instead. For once, I feel like I would rather just hang out with her. I don't know. I've never felt that way about a waifu before, so this is totally new to me. Just hang out with her, yeah? Just have a chill day. Fucking eat breakfast, pass out, eat a second breakfast. Just chill with Freeman. Just hang out, use some random spells, who knows? Maybe she'll make me some fucking shaved ice cream. She's pretty chill. She's pretty chill. If anyone's a doctor in the comments, could you let me know if maybe something's wrong or like prescribe me something? I see this scene a lot of times. This is a very memeable picture. We've seen this multiple times. I'm sure I'll see. I'll, I'm sure I'll understand the context of this. Why is her face so smug here though? Something. Anyway, Freerun is an exceptionally great anime. It's perfected the fantasy setting and completely dominated the genre. The music, animation, pacing, humor, and pretty much every aspect of this anime. Pacing. Pacing. Can we say that pacing is good? Probably? I just feel like it's intentionally slow though. I, it, it's not that there's a problem with the pacing, but I feel like it's in, trying to be intentionally slow at times. Anime are all phenomenal. I'm always skeptical when I see an anime rated above a 9 on Mal, so I gave Freerun a watch and... She didn't even wear it because time isn't valuable to elves. Typically, seasonal anime are like 12 or 13 episodes total, so I expected that to apply to Freerun as well. But when I found out it's going to be 28 episodes, Hell yeah. my reaction was basically the cum scene from Devil Man Cry Baby. So Spoilers, but when I saw this, this is one of the biggest reasons why I'm trying to Freerun again, right? Because I dropped Freerun for a couple weeks because I saw that the reactions were doing pretty bad on my channel. But it's like, you know, new slots are opening up. This is going 28, so I'm like, ah, it'd be such a waste to like to wait for a good show going this many episodes, right? Free Run is like the dream anime that I'm waiting for, right? A popular anime that has multiple episodes beyond 12. It's like the perfect show. Come on, just do well. Okay, one more master. Okay, one Action more scene. Was basically Not the scene from Devil Man Cry Baby. So does Free Run deserve the number one spot on my anime list? Uh we can't say that. No, we don't know yet. We, we gotta finish it. it act, the story needs to finish that. Like, you can't give an incomplete story. Well, then again, if you rate the show just by its season, right? And not the rest of the season. Is that fair? Maybe there was like an arc in Free Full Metal Alchemist that was super hype. And like, um, what's the word? Like, if you just take that one arc into context, maybe it'll defeat everything else. So like, you can't really compare a complete season, like a complete series with like a... Like a, just one season of an anime, but you'll have to wait for it to finish, right, before you can give judgment. Honestly, I'm gonna go with no, simply to offset the recency bias, but so far, <laughs> Freerun Yeah, has recency bias is also huge. Most people just bandwagon. They think something's super hype. They're like, oh, I want to watch it. That's super hype. So then people, like, don't even know why it's hype. They just hear that it's hype, so they'll bandwagon on it. Then this just becomes like, an, like a compounding effect where other people will think it's hype, not even though they might not think so. But it, it'll, like, make people judge the show much more 
easier. They'll be less harsh on it. So in a, in a year's time, will Freebrand still like stand? Will it still hold a candle to the Full Metal Alchemist? No one really knows, but like, you gotta let this shit die down. The fact that Brotherhood has ended with count like 2009? That shit's fucking 14 years ago, dude. So you gotta, like, are we gonna think about free reign in 14 years? I don't know, but in 14 years right now, in fucking 2037, you know what's gonna be happening? Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, you know, reviewers, they're gonna be fucking brigading and review bombing your favorite show too. Don't it's worry. It's everything I want it to be, and I can't come up with a single complaint about it. It's absolutely a 10 out of 10 anime, but I think it's just too early to say if it's yeah. the best anime of all time. Maybe too early. one day I'll watch FMA Brotherhood and settle this debate once and for all. But even if we just assume FMA is better than Freerin, I don't think downvoting Freerin is the solution here. It's been fucking amazing so far, and maybe I'll have to. No, we're not looking for a solution. Brotherhood fanboys, they don't give a fuck. No one's gonna touch our number one spot. To make another video on it once the recency bias wears off. But okay. if you aren't watching Freerin yet, I'd highly fucking recommend it. This anime is just so good, and you can probably guess what tier it's gonna go into in my S tier next video. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm out for now. Pe I haven't subbed to his channel. I've seen his videos before. I think go like, you know, go give his sub a uh, give his channel a sub. Like his video if you did. But this show, like. I think I might just like brute force it to be honest. Like I, I know there actually is quite a bit of free run and enjoyers in my channel. It's just that I've already talked to you about that YouTube algorithm bullshit, but I think that I'm just gonna fucking take the L. I'm gonna bite the bullet. I'm gonna try to finish the series.